<laughs> jump, baby, jump! What is going on, guys? Today we are going to have an awesome adventure with Robert Murphy right now. We are way up the Niangua near Bridal Cave. And what we are doing today is we are going to revolutionize how to spoonbill fish. I've got the live scope in here. I was up here on Wednesday and I was doing nothing but panning around looking for schools of fish and I kept seeing spoonbill after spoonbill after spoonbill. And it got me to thinking, what if you could watch them on live scope knowing that it's a very narrow beam and you see that fish on that live scope, you flip a giant snagging weight on your bass rig and we're going to try and catch some spoonbill on bass rigs and see how much abuse these things can handle. A, we got to set our drags back because we don't want to smoke the reel out. You don't want to break your rod right off the gate. But we're going to have fun. We're going to see if this works. Because if this works, I guarantee that Garmin didn't only revolutionize how people bass fish. They revolutionize how people are going to go out snagging. You're not going to have to spend hours on hours just ripping on a rod or driving around mindlessly doing nothing. You can come up here where there's usually good schools of them, pan around, take a light action rod like a, well we're using heavy action, but this is light gear for what you'd normally use for snagging. And we're going to have a blast. So let's get at this. Let's see if we can make this happen. Because if we do, bet you. You guys are going to have a lot better times getting out here snagging for spoonbill. You'll take your time. Cost you a little bit more money to start out, but you'll catch more fish. I promise you that. So let's get at it. Never in your life you thought you'd do this. <laughs> oh, that's it, keeper. Oh, it's got a band on it. Where? Right there on the lip. Oh, oh dude. Dude. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh. Well, let's see how easy it is to get the hook out. Oh, it was. It fell right out. I know, that's what I was like, I gotta make sure I can pitch it on it. You thought I was crazy at first, didn't you? <laughs> Mad scientist! No! My GoPro was reading! We still got that one. Oh, I know. Guys, can you believe that? Look at this thing! 
We snagged it using live scope. You can spend all day snagging. And we were out here for what? An hour, an hour once we figured it, it out. We kind of figured out you had to get shallow. You couldn't do it in 20 foot of water. You had to go in like 15. But look at what we got. We got ourselves our first spoon bill. And we're going to get back at it. We're going to catch another one. That's my first spoon bill ever. <laughs> and it has a band. Oh. Alright, let's get more. Alright, so we're getting back at it. We found a few more. It isn't easy by any means. But let me tell you, we came out here once we got up into this spot. We got away from Bridal Cave because it was too deep. We got up here, it's like 15 foot deep. You can see the bridges right behind us. And uh, the fish are super easy to get to because we're just literally, this is all we're doing. You can come out here all day long snagging with a bunch of hooks and some weights and ripping your shoulder out. All we got is one hook tied to a knot, tied to some 65 pound braid on a heavy action bass rod. I'm using a razor rod right now with a loose speed spool and uh, heavy duty, super duty. Um, that's it. I mean, you want to talk about make life easier? Bob's getting a phone call. Someone must have seen this post. So, but we're, I'm going to get back at it. I want to get one today too. Got the speed spool. Oh yeah, I got him on the tail, buddy. Woo, yeah. Oh, no, 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 don't lose, don't lose. Oh, he's rolling up. All right, All right boys, here we go. I got one too. Uh, <laughs> you may have to cut it, or just lasso one end, and then we'll cut it after we tie it up. Dude, you guys have no idea how awesome this live scope fishing is with this. It's crazy, we've been out here for what? Maybe three hours, but two hours, sticking around about an hour of actually fishing and here we are we're hooked up again on a second one my goodness this is so much fun now for all you snaggers out there I know it's not cheap to buck up and buy some Garmin live scope but I'm telling you you got to man look at what we're doing here I mean look at this this is another healthy spoonbill got him in the tail so he's fighting like crazy yeah buddy this is better than any bass will ever be oh what a fight I feel I'd still take a 10 pound pass though over this, but this is a fight. This is what we're out here for. Uh. Oh, come on, buddy. I don't want to horse it because I got a last in them. Yeah, oh yeah, you're hooked in your last. <laughs> uh, he just won't come. He's just fighting me. <laughs> you. Uh, this is. is yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, well, that boy's, he was digging in the mud, trying to get away. All right. Ugh. All right, guys, let's get this bad boy in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, there is two in the boat now. How about that, guys? My boat looks like I murdered somebody. And that's right, because we did. We're up here slaying these spoonbill on live scope using bass rods, guys. How much fun is this? I know a bunch of bass fishermen that are gonna switch to doing this, and you're gonna enjoy it. I'm telling you. Catching a five, six pound bass is fun, but nothing can compare to the fight of one of these. When you set that hook, it's like setting a hook when you're flipping into a a big mat and you just feel that thunk and you set that hook and it's just sink. you feel that rod double over and you just hang on Woo. let's get another one man <laughs> let's get another one oh. let your sink give them hell yeah buddy <laughs> <Woo. laughs> show wink <laughs> <laughs> jump baby jump <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh gosh guys this is so much fun <sighs> and it jumped for him man how awesome was that it looked like a marlin <laughs> oh you got him all wrapped up he's He's pretty much screwed. I'm gonna stay on the other side in case the line breaks. 
think I'm right in the bill. I'm just gonna let you unwrap them. You just keep rolling them like that. He might get some more fight when you finally get them unwrapped. Yep. <laughs> let that heavy action rod bend, boy. Oh no, troll motor. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna get a rope. I'm not freaking out. We got more rope, right? Or do you use it all? Out of that one, you still got your more rope wrapped around here. I just want to get him in the boat. I think we're done. I think that wraps up our day, man. I mean, do you really want to clean more than this? I don't care. It takes that <laughs> But long. you're done after this. Oh, I know. I'll sit here with you, though. <laughs> now, I just don't want that hook coming out. Yeah, just keep the hook away from my... I'm going to get the hook cast and... <sighs> I mean, you... <laughs> all right. So make sure you keep them away from the troll marks. It's on a uh, spot lock. There you go. Yeah, I knew as soon as you got them unwrapped. I right, keep the rod up. I don't want to think. Oh boy! Did you grab by the bill? I, no, because it's so slick. Okay, let me do that. Hold on, this am I'll just lift them up. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. About two and a half, three hours out here on the water. That's what we got snagging. And we had so much more fun than just sitting down drinking beer, jerking on a rod. So, I, you know, I was going to come out here by myself. My buddy John was supposed to make it, but he couldn't. But Bob said, I'll come see this shit show. <laughs> exactly. Well, and it didn't just, turn into one. It didn't turn into one. It actually worked out the way I thought it would and look at that we got this banded one i might have to see what we have to do with that um but other than that it's pretty damn cool it's pretty exciting bob thanks for coming out Let's oh go. yeah it was fun <laughs> we're gonna go clean these up we got a long way back to the boat ramp but we're gonna take it nice and easy and stay warm see you guys hope you enjoyed this video and if you have an opportunity if you love snagging here's your chance if you're a bass angler use your electronics learn get out here you know i couldn't do it without the garmin no way no how and, you know this isn't a a selling a selling pitch here but the reality is if you don't have it you can't do it like we just did so if you're a hardcore snagger you might want to invest in it it could be fun and uh, anyways we're out of here guys we're gonna go warm up hope you enjoyed this video and it's good times and yeah Bye.